Boomer doesn't understand tech. This happened about 10 years ago. There was a Karen that had been with the company for nearly 15 years. Her title was project manager, but she was really more of an office admin and various internal projects would get pushed to her. These were things to help improve how the office worked, but nothing critical. One of these projects was actually deemed to be important and it was reassigned to me. She hated this and stonewalled me all the time. It caused the project to be delayed, and I was getting crap from some of the executives because of this. When I commented that it was difficult to get information from Karen, she became super sweet and said she was bending over backwards to help me, I didn't understand the project, etc. I powered through anyway. But, then there was a round of layoffs and she was one of them. Due to her time with the company, she received a three-month severance and extended benefits. It was weird, but the company essentially cut monthly severance checks instead of paying them out all at once. But, she also had to sign an NDA and non-disparagement agreement on the exit, as well as confirm that she had handed over all company materials and files. I went to go grab some files related to the project and everything was gone. Karen had deleted everything. This was before using things like Teams, Google Drive, etc. Everything was on a shared network drive, so it wasn't super easy to get the backup. But Boomer Karen was the type that used her work email for all her personal accounts, including LinkedIn. It was also company policy that the emails of departed employees would be forwarded to their department heads for a few months. Using this knowledge, I went to LinkedIn and sent a message. Hi Karen I heard about your departure. I hope you can use the time to take the vacation you talked about. I went to grab some of the files but noticed they were missing. Do you have backups you could share? When she responded, it also went to her old email, and thus to the department head. Don't pretend to be nice. I wouldn't be surprised if you helped me get fired. Good luck finding any of those files. I deleted everything. Screw you. Well, when that got forwarded to HR that she had put in writing that she had deleted everything it was determined that this violated the severance agreement. All severance checks were immediately stopped. Oh, so sorry Boomer. I still don't understand why people use their work email for anything personal. So stupid. Well done. Nice and really this is better than petty. Nothing like a heartwarming story to begin the weekend. This has nothing to do with when she was born. It has to do with the kind of person she became. This is great. Okay, this was 10 years ago, but I have to ask, why wasn't IT shutting off the user account for someone who was being laid off? Give her the rope she does the rest very nice. IT person here. Most everyone doesn't understand tech. Age doesn't matter. I would say the younger generations are some of the worst. If it's not an iPhone, they don't care or understand. Once I was laid off and my boss went out to lunch and left me rearranging folders, passing on all of my contacts to his email, finalizing a few PowerPoints. I wasn't escorted out, on the contrary, they trusted me to fill in any blanks I might have left. We left the building together at night having a good laugh. They gave me a six-month severance, an NDA and a gleaming letter of recommendation. Sometimes it pays to be honest and decent. Who papa wrong sub. That's cold but sounds like she devoted some serious time in trying to screw you over. That was well played. I mean she didn't make it hard lol but fr well played. When you're let go and sign documents keep your mouth shut until you have all that's owed you. She hosed herself. Too bad. As a boomer who did tech support, I can tell you that this could happen to anyone. I doubt that the company explicitly told departing employees that their email will be forwarded. In fact, I only told the people I liked that this would happen. Also, I've run across a bunch of CEOs who use their work address for personal things. I've also set up remote workstation logging for 20-somethings who pretended to work so. Anyway, good job on the revenge. 
As a boomer, I can't count how many Gen ZS and millennials who feel that surge of power when hitting reply to all the dot. Ha 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 I'm a boomer, and even I know better than to do something like that. This is slightly more than petty and I love it. Damn she's an idiot I would not have said one word. I would have played stupid and just said sorry they were all there when I was let go. Not just boomers who do that but smooth move. Nice, except for highlighting the boomer bit. I'm so tired of this intergenerational bullshit, particularly when it has no bearing on the story. I encounter idiots of all ages. Brilliant. Can't you call her out for being a Karen without using the stereotype of boomer? Many of us starting using technology as soon as it came out and have kept up with it, and are quite sharp with it. It's awful to assume that everyone a certain age is stupid or nasty or both. I mean, being a Karen involves the choice to be nasty or not. But people cannot control their age. Age does not equal personality traits. Wow, guess you hate boomers. FYI, there are Karens in every generation. Nice, also you get to disparage all baby boomers, because that's an important part of the story. This is a bit more than petty. Perhaps even. Pro? Clever move. All severance checks were immediately stopped. I'm sorry that she only got 3 months severance and not 12 months, so she could lost more money. I wonder how old this anti-boomer is, although mentally he she is still a child with that mentality. Sounds like she was after some petty revenge but should have just responded differently. And why does everyone have to be a boomer or a Karen, Lord have mercy? Great job should have added insult to injury and had HR sue her for severance already paid out too. If your heading was woman doesn't understand tech instead would it have been more or less discriminatory? Boomer, Karen, so much prejudice and derogatory. We know her age and gender as that was very important to the story. Why didn't you mention her race ethnicity etc to make your story better? Congrats, you seem like a great human. A bit triggered. I get that this Karen was an asshole. But why the boomer comment? Do you really think everyone from that generation should be grouped in with her? Kind of short-sighted and overly rude. I work with boomers at my job and they are so petty. Like grow the fuck up. I don't understand it. Is it because they feel threatened? But you guys are on the way out. Why the fuck do you care? LOL. I love when they do it to themselves. So sweet. I'd be more impressed with your story if you hadn't tried to use boomer as a derogatory term. Info I don't get it. Did LinkedIn work differently 10 years ago? Because it doesn't work like that today. It sends you an email saying you have a message, but doesn't say what that message is, and it doesn't send an email to your email when you respond on LinkedIn. I get that she supposedly used her work email for the account, but without her password how would they be able to log in and see her message? Oh goodness. GIF GIFI 8 FEN 5 LSZ CHQ 50 Perfecto face with open mouth hashtag dash symbol. Well played my friend, well played. Ha 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 ha. This is great 3. This is gold smart thinking. Oh wow this is so satisfying. What a bitch lol. Gif Giffy EOUEZI 5 BBR 8 UK downsized. The villain tells his plan to the hero, and Doe foiled once again. NA, you're an asshole. You cut her off on up to a quarter of her previous annual salary. What about her autistic child at home, or her divorce proceedings or her crippling debt that you aren't aware of? Petty revenge would be cutting her off from her LinkedIn account or something similar. You did an evil thing. Good job, op I must say, though, that all boomers are computer stupid. 